What's going on guys, today I'm going to be bringing you a Minecraft Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode uh, Let's Play And sorry if I sound a bit funny, I am slightly sick at the moment, but yeah um, So I believe to set it to Expert Mode we need to go underscore FTB No sorry, forward slash FTB underscore Mode Set Expert I believe that's how we do it uh, Did that do anything? Alright, there we go. Game mode set to expert. So, so far, I mean, I have played this on a multiplayer server, but I don't know too much about it. We do get these books to start off with, and an apple, I guess. So, yeah, it shows us the recipes of, like, uh, crafting station, chest, and all the other things we need. So, I guess to start off with, we'll get some wood, then start a base. Before it gets night time, we'll probably just dig into a cave. Or try and find one, save so making it a small base to start off with. So, yeah, I've heard this is pretty fun. I've played a tiny bit of a multiplayer to a small little base, but yeah. So, um, I also know that instead of the normal Minecraft, you would get I think it's four planks every wood log. This one you only get two, so it's not the biggest difference, but it can mean it. So we're probably just going to get, I don't know, maybe 20 to get, just to start off with some tools, make a crafting station. So yeah, if these videos go well and, you know, I get support on it, then I might continue it, but yeah, I'm hoping to. So we have a meadows hive here. I think they're just for bees, which is for another one of the mod packs. I think I could be wrong there. Mm. All right, that should be enough for now. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to turn all of the, oh yeah, that's my character by the way, we're going to turn all of these into planks, and then we're going to make a crafting table. Now I know when you get a crafting table you can also place it back in and get a crafting station. I believe the only difference is that with a crafting station you can, you, it, like your items stay in there when you place them in. There could be other differences but that's all I know of. So I guess we're going just to try and find a little cave. I believe there was one just where we spawned in. Could be wrong though. I don't think this is where we spawned in, but there might be one off this mountain. What's this? We have some copper over here. Some coal. Oh, to get now, we're going to have to find a little cave very soon. Yeah, I mean, this episode I'm just hoping to get started, maybe get some little things up, and yeah. Oop, jumped a bit too high there. Hmm, where did we spawn in? I'm sure I remember seeing a cave there. Oh, that's alright. I think we did spawn in over here. Yep, there it is. Let's hope. Oh, I don't need to. It's a big cave. What is it? Oh, this. This. I guess this can do us for now. Ah, right, so we have our crafting station, and I guess now we're going to need to make some sticks. Um, 
I also know that they've lowered the durability a lot of the wooden stuff. I mean, it's not used too much, but it's not used. To, I mean, you only really use it at the start, but still, you're gonna have to make a fair few of the tools because the durability is a lot less. Ah, uh, so we've got our wooden pickaxe here. I'll probably just make another one. Alright, so we'll dig into. I'll just dig this cave out a tiny bit, and yeah, I'll see you when I'm done. Alright, guys, so before we need to do. Before we take out this wall, um, then I'll show you this. The pickaxe is breaking about five. Oops, sorry, five bits of cobblestone. So, um, if you've never played this mode before, um, you'll be used to making pickaxes out of three cobblestone and three, um, oh, sorry, two sticks. But to make stone items, and once you get later on it, um, you're going to use other stuff to make items, but we're going to need to make another one. It's, there's a completely different method to getting, um, stone pickaxes and also iron and different materials later on. I'll show you how to do that. Now, so we're going to go try and find that coal we saw earlier. Oh, we don't really need coal at the moment. We should have made a axe to chop down trees though. That's still that's fine. It's this flower. A vishroom. Alright, so to make the uh, pickaxe, oh sorry, um, yeah, stone pickaxes, we need to make a stencil table. We make this table, um, a part builder. I thought you could do that where you put that space in between. Part builder. I think that's all. Could be something else though. I'll check that in a second. We have a little bit of a here. Fine though. Alrighty. Not sure what's happening. Nausea. I didn't know that was a thing. Wait, is that that flower causing? I'm at zero. Now if I walk back over here... Yeah, I think that's that flower causing it. Or it could be where the zombie died, but that's weird. Oh, the nausea is gone. I think it was from that flower. I've never seen that before. That's awesome. Um, Alright, so we need to make a blank stencil to make the uh, stencil table. So to do that, we need to make two sticks. Right on the diagonal. Oh. First, we need to turn our wood planks into wood... Ah, uh, sorry, wood logs into wood planks. We need to go a diagonal. Stuff that up, didn't I? Diagonal, then we also need to go diagonal sticks. Then we get a blank pattern. Now what we do with that is we need to make another crafting station. We put that there and then the blank pattern there. We have a tool station, not what we need yet, but that we will end up needing it. Now the other thing is a stencil table. I thought that's how we made it, but apparently not. Ah, stencil table is a blank pattern and a oak wood plank, or any wood plank obviously. So we need to make another table. Put it there. And just a single wood plank. Oops, swap them around. Did I read that wrong? Oh, silly me. It was actually a stencil. Oh, I'm sure we'll use another crafting table. So hang on one second, guys. We'll just get some more wood. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I don't know why I read that wrong, but... We'll end, up, we'll end up needing another table sooner or later. Alright. 
so uh, we need to turn all them into wood planks then go to make a table it will we need sticks not a stencil sorry and then we have a blank pattern and a wood plank now we have our stencil table I think the other one we need is a part builder and that is a wood log and a blank pattern now we're also going to need to get us lots of wood because we're going to need to make more patterns to make a, our pickaxes and axes or later on well, just for now we'll just make a stone sword pickaxe and I guess axe probably shovel as well so yeah I'll collect some wood and then I'll be back alright guys I think that should be enough wood now we've got 41 planks and just 4 normal wood so to make the part build it was a wood plank and a blank pattern so we need to make some more sticks oops now we'll just make a few spare and go diagonal sticks and diagonal wood planks I think they can be swapped around but we're just going to do it like that now we have that we have our part builder so we'll head back into our little cave so I will just leave that there, I'm going to end up moving it, but so what we need to do is we need to have our stencil table, part builder, and tool station. I don't think we need the tool station just yet, but it'll come in handy. So we need to put the stencil table, you have to put them in this order, I just like it because it goes the order of use. Then we'll go our tool station. So we need to place a stencil in here to make a pickaxe head a tool binding and a tool rod so we'll just make how many do we need to make that's three but we'll also we'll make about ten stencils just for everything that we'll need Alright guys, so we place our blank pattern in here, and we click the pickaxe head, and that gives that, it just gives a stencil of it. We also need a um, tool binding, we need a tool rod, and we'll also make one for a axe. So is that the axe head? Yep, we need the axe head. I don't remember what else you need for that. I'll quickly check that in our tool station. We need. Where is it? Can't see the axe. Oh, there we go. Try the axe head and handle. I think for the handle, you just use the tool rod. So, we got that. So, we'll just take them out for now. Then we go into our part builder. Place cobblestone in here. A pickaxe head in here, so we have the head. Then we'll play swap the stencils. We have the stone tool rod. I'm not sure what these are used for stone shards, but I always keep them. Then we go tool binding. Take that. Oops, get a bit of lag. We get that. We place just put that there, and we also need a. We'll just make the axe head. And we also make a spare tool rod for that, if that's the right thing needed. Yeah, now we need to go in our tool station, pickaxe, and then that goes in there, that goes in there, and voila, stone pickaxe. Mm. Alright, now for the hatchet, go there and there, and done. Now, if you guys have played this mod pack before, you'll know this, but for people who have it, it's a pretty cool feature. You can press B, and you can put on beacons. And we'll just name this, I don't know, start. Change the color and everything, but we put the Y at 255, so it's higher. 
And yeah, we have a beacon, so we always know where our base is. So I'm going to make this mine a bit bigger, and I'll be back. Alright guys, so we've now got all our tables needed to make stone tools. We've got a bed and some food. I think that'll be... Oh, we've also got all our stone tools. I think that'll be enough for today. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more, comment down below. Thanks for watching. That I'm at an all time. No, 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 no,